there's a person who still speaks publicly about their treatment uh, changing their life and they have been essentially cured of the disease they can live out in the open in the public since their treatment i know liz that you are patient zero when it comes to this space and it's only been only i think a couple of hundred people have taken it for anti-aging purposes yeah probably over 300. i would say that i was definitely suffering from the disease of aging my gain of function since those gene therapies has been enormous and so what value have you seen so far since then I, that's an interesting one for me so i Welcome to Longevity Unpacked, the gene therapy special. Imagine reprogramming your DNA to prevent disease, repair damage, or even slow aging itself. That is the frontier of gene therapy, and it is advancing faster than most people realize. Today, I am joined by Liz Parrish, who is the first patient to take gene therapy for longevity purposes and a leading entrepreneur in this space. And Bo Yang Wang, investor and founder of the longevity fund Immortal Dragons, backing the companies pushing this field forward. Will gene therapy cost less than a single course of cancer drug by 2040? Well, in fact, many of the COVID-19 vaccines are gene therapies themselves. So totally, yes, probably quicker than that. Do you think by 2035, we'll have a gene therapy for longevity approved? The quick answer is probably...